2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Here we are at the Genesis Invitational, one of the top events each year on the schedule. Today's coverage is about to start. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. Luke Elvey here with Rich Beam in the booth. And Rich, it's the final round in this one. What's our next player dealing with as they start their round? Look, this player has got a massive lead, and sometimes those are the worst to have because you feel as a player the only way that you can lose it is if you mess it up. And trust me, somewhere in the back of their mind, this player understands that. So it's going to be a nervy start, no doubt, to this final round. Let's wait to see what happens. Can't wait to find out what happens here. Looks like they got all of that one. That's on a good line. <laughs> Playing from around 210 yards here. Going with the five iron here. This looks to be heading to the green. That was a beauty. Putting for the big bird here. A birdie with big wings. What a nice line. Currently in first position. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Time to tee off at the second. I've never seen a golf course where you're so happy to start off birdie bogey. It's the strangest thing I've ever seen. The second hole, pretty straight away off the tee shot. The second shot moves a little bit from left to right back up the hill. There is some space on the right hand side to miss your second shot up by the green, but there's no guarantees that it'll kick hard enough right to left to get back on the green. It's a sensational second hole. And he's down there. He is right on the 150 yard marker here. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Oh, that's a great shot. It sets up a wonderful birdie look here at the second. And a fantastic look upcoming. Seven feet to the cup. Little birdie look in here. I don't mind the look of this. Well done. Take the birdie. He sits in first position. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Awesome stuff. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. OK, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? They've just got to focus on hitting the back of the cup, guys. This is up the hill, bit of extra juice needed. Ooh. Just a tiny putt is all that remains. And now that finds him in first place. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. This is a spectacular par three. Ideally, players want to hit a tee shot that moves significantly from right to left 
and moving with the contour of the green. If they can do that, then they've got an opportunity to hit it really close. If they challenge the pin off the tee shot, well, it could come up short in that bunker, and that is a massive no-no. Pretty good shot there. Well, a nine-foot chance here. That one. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. The fairway does run out about 310 yards off the tee, and players not necessarily going to hit driver here. They have to be mindful that the fairway pitches significantly from right to left on their tee shot. From there, they're hitting their second shots downhill again to a green that chases away from them front to back. Again, a simple looking second shot, but a difficult one to get close. And choosing the eight iron here. Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is, Rich. And hitting yet another green here in regulation. Another green in regulation. This is an absolute clinic. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Ooh, right by the hole. Par putt coming up here. That was a top-level approach shot, but unfortunately, they walk off the green with a par. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. This hole is a par three. What an incredible design this is. And it really just takes this green and it makes it into a section of four. The back right, the front right, front left, and back left, they all have their unique features to it, and that all is due to the simple fact that that bunker, which is tiny, minuscule, almost not even there, it basically shapes that green into the four quadrants. It is just an amazing design. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Oh, what a stroke. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. Deep into the front nine. Here we are at the seventh hole. The fairway bunker down the left-hand side comes in quicker than you can imagine. And so players want to try and hit it out towards the far right part of it. But again, you push it a little bit, and now the barranca comes into play. If you find the fairway, happy days. This green is probably one of the most severe tilted from back to front. Players need to make sure their second shots land past this hole in order for it to come back down towards the hole. You will have a downhill putt, but it's better than coming up short. Should find the green. Well, that's beautifully judged. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. Ooh, these are good for the momentum, these ones right on eight feet. Looking for another birdie here. Looks good off the blade. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Gotta like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Still in the lead now after that hole. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. <laughs> oh, 
That should find the fairway. Time for the second shot at the eighth. Yeah, good safe shot this one. That should find the surface. Well, that's well played into Bernie range here at the eighth. Full of confidence as well with their putter. Gotta like their chances. Just six feet between he and the hole. Yep, tracking nicely. Mark it down, that's birdie number five. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Here we go. We're beginning the ninth hole now. Only the big hitters are going to be able to carry that fairway bunker down the left-hand side. Most players are going to try and avoid it and even miss it, the fairway out to the right-hand side, which is not a bad miss. From there, the second shot is directly uphill. Deep, deep bunkers on the front right part of this. That is not the place to miss it. Anything that's a little bit long will leave you a downhill putt, but that's the safe play. Going with the pitching wedge here. Yeah, that one's looking good. That was special. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. A birdie putter waits. Gee, that's good playing. Six birdies in a round. It's a lofty position this player has held all tournament, but what a buffer they've built with just nine to play. Could be some trying times indeed. Tough holes lay ahead, but yes, you're in the position that you want to be ahead of the pack. Time to see what this par four has in store. No, not at all. And what a hole it is. It's changed a lot over the years. This green is actually reminds me of something you would see at Pinehurst. There is no flat spots on it. It either is downhill or uphill. That's it. Players most likely will take driver or fairway wood and try and leave themselves just on the front left portion of the screen. That's the most ideal spot they can hit it, no matter where they put the flag stick. However, hitting it there is nearly impossible. A keen short game is absolute necessity to make birdie here. Ooh, that looks like a pure stroke. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Time to tee off on the 11th. It's just a long straightaway par five, almost a runway, if you like. Both sides of this fairway flanked by huge eucalyptus trees, which frames this tee shot brilliantly. You find the fairway, second shot, once again, straightforward. You must avoid that bunker front right at all costs. That is deep and nasty. You're not going to enjoy being in there. Wonderfully played.
Oh, I love this type of courage, Rich. Going forward in two. Using the big muscles to get it home in two there. This putt is about 10 feet from the hole. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. Get excited. This could go in. Oh, he's on fire today, building upon his lead, hole after hole. Currently in first position. Let's head to the 12th hole, shall we? This is where the golf course gets extremely difficult, Luke. This tee shot moves from left to right, but massive overhanging eucalyptus trees down the right-hand side prevents you from hitting a high draw over them. Once you're in the fairway, though, your second shot is to a green that's really not as big as it should be for such a long hole. And there's a famous tree just short and left of this green, Bogey's tree. Not because of the score, because Humphrey Bogart used to sit there and just watch everybody butcher this hole. Well, this one's right at the pin. A wonderful shot and a birdie opportunity coming up at the 12. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. We've arrived at a par four. It's really cool. This tee shot is framed by large eucalyptus trees, both right and left, requires a draw. Nothing else to do. You have to move this golf ball from right to left off this tee. If you do it correctly, well, that golf ball could chase down there miles down this fairway. If you find the fairway down there, you're going to love the second shot. The difficulty gets when the pin is all the way back left in this little peninsula. You miss it a little bit left there, you're going to find the barranca, and you're probably going to find a bogey or worse. Oh, look at this, right down the throat. Wow, what a shot. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? Has to put this one downhill. Now that's how you roll the rock. Yes, they've made it. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Luke, there's a very simple hole in my mind, but for the mere mortals who are playing this game, it can be difficult because this green is not deep, but it, it's certainly wide, and it does tilt from right to left at a pretty good clip. Historically, it's not the easiest par three on this golf course, but for me, eh, I think different. Lining up the birdie putt here. This one's dialed in. Was on a good line. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. And down it goes. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Now on the tee of a long par four. It's a great par four, and yet there's some players that have seen it a little bit differently lately. I always saw it as a dog leg from left to right. Just avoid that fairway bunker down the right-hand side. And this is an interesting green. It's got a high spot on the left, and it's got a low middle section and a high section on the right-hand side, and you never have a flat putt. It is always breaking one direction or another, and it's either straight uphill or straight downhill. This is the most difficult green on the golf course by a long margin. If you see it differently, you can hit it down the right, down 17 fairway, but I fail to see how that's any kind of advantage. 
That's a great shot here at the 15th. It sets up a look for Birdie. Got to like their chances from there. This one started out on a good line. Ooh, nice putt to make for a birdie. What a great feeling being that far ahead with just four to play. He sits in first position. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves. A chance to keep it rolling. It's an island green, if you can believe that. It's surrounded by bunkers. I think this is another one of the all-time great designs. It's only about 160 yards, Luke, but the whole green is surrounded by bunkers. Everything feeds towards the center and the front of this green once it gets on there. I just think this is a magnificent design. If you hit it in any one of those bunkers, making a par will be nearly impossible. Tracking. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. That's a momentum maker, isn't it? Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Now on the tee after a birdie. Fired up and ready for more. At all costs, do not hit it in that fairway bunker down the right-hand side. Anywhere to the left, even in the rough left, is just fine. From there, your next shot should be laid up out to the right-hand side. Third shot straight back up the hill with some kind of wedge. It can be an easy birdie if you get the distance on your third shot spot on. If you get it wrong, however, you could have some issues. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Absolutely. Love watching a player be bold and be rewarded for it. Setting up here with a very long putt. That'll sting a bit. This one just outside seven feet to the hole. It's got a chance. Well, that'll play. And now that finds him in first place. Well, this is when the adrenaline really starts to kick in. Leading the tournament with the final hole to play. Good luck. Oh, that is crushed. Lining up here after a bunch of birdies, Rich. Absolutely. It's been a good streak late in the round. That's outstanding. Another great shot by our leader. It's amazing to see how good this player is in full flow. All right, let's keep the focus here. This is to win the event. This one's online. Well, you've got to take your hat off to them. That's an outstanding performance. And to win around a golf course that was known as Ben Hogan's Alley. Well, this is going to go down as an iconic win at an iconic venue. I got to say, to win at Riviera, I believe, places you among the tournament's elite throughout the years. This is a storied venue, and this was a storied win.
Well, that's all we've got time for today. On behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, 